damn, so Rengoku's about to go fight somebody right now? Damn, he's about to fight a 12 and it's one of the upper ranked ones. Oh, shit. Yeah, Rengoku look like he about to body somebody. He looks really cool. I really love his character design. Please don't die, Rengoku. Bro, I swear, if one of the Hashiras dies, especially Rengoku, I, I kind of like Rengoku right now. If they pull something like that and they kill off one of them, ooh, I'm gonna be mad. And this man Zenitsu is still freaking out. I love how Inosuke is still depressed right now. <laughs> like, he's just laying down. Oh, the dude from the mountain is still alive. Damn, he, he actually held his own back then. Yeah, that man Inosuke's throat is gone. I actually kind of like that they brought him back. It just shows that, like, they didn't forget his character. Because I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forgot that he actually did something. Attention to detail. Yo, this man is sad because the dude, like, they were talking about how, like, the Demon Slayers, like, the recent Demon Slayers have been, like, trash, garbaggio. So, like, that's, like, another thing people kind of pointed out because I made a comment that, like, they're, like, talking shit that, like, the Demon Slayers have been trash, but, like, how would they even become a Demon Slayer if they, you know, didn't have some sort of potential in the first place, you know? Like, since... Like, they have to pass, like, the rite of passage, right? Like, they have to pass a test to become an official Demon Slayer. Like, why would they pass somebody if, you know, they're not up to par? Unless, like, they're short on ranks, then I can understand that. If they're short on, like, Demon Slayers and they need numbers, so, like, they kind of lower the standards of, like, what it takes to become a de Demon Slayer, I can understand that. Okay, so only Tanjiro and Inosuke are training. Oh, yeah, because Zenitsu is still recovering from the poison. Like, he... His body parts are still, like, growing back. Or growing back to size, I should say. Oh, damn, she treated the people that already got turned to spiders. It's crazy how, like, she came up with, like, an antidote right on the spot. Oh, they look like they've been through some shit. That must have been some rough-ass training. He's gone. Yo, they are both gone. <laughs> they don't even want to talk about it. Okay, so they get a massage. Oh, that's not a massage. That's, that's death. And that's Shinobu's, like trainee i forget what they're called but like she's studying under her she kind of scares me though like she she doesn't really talk i mean at least shinobu talks shinobu's already scary as is but at least she talks she right there she doesn't talk <laughs> yo why is that too so serious right now i may hit some jojo poses damn yo zenitsu chill my man straight sucker punchy no skate oh he about to do the thunder breathing i mean i haven't seen him do that you know he has to be asleep to do that oh he's mad because he was with the with because they were with the girls bro it's not like they were doing anything i mean god damn did you see their faces they look like they were dead my man zenitsu is losing it right now bro my man has lost it yo props to whoever voices zenitsu because he be making the most outlandish craziest sound effects and and like pitch changes and everything so props to whoever voices him that should look like it hurt oh yo is it so okay i see you yo i mean whatever it takes at least you know that man is fast he's fast even when he's not asleep i hope they have a fight where zenitsu's actually awake damn none of them could lay a finger or do anything so she's the real deal right there i mean like none of them can even like come up to par with her i mean she is trained by shinobu i mean tanjiro that's probably why she's so good he says it's similar to the set of a hashira i'm telling you her and shinobu have to be related damn so you're telling me tanjiro is supposed to be able to do the total concentration breathing 24 7 no breaks even in the sleep damn it actually hurts him that much to do the breathing wait they have to make the the gourds explode bro you better have the lungs of a god to be able to do that see that's why canal is kind of scaring me because you know if she has the power to do that and she doesn't really talk and she's just like smiling all the time you know i'd be kind of scared to fight her i wonder if she also uses poison like shinobu my man going into that zen state absolute concentration oh she he did break that sword the one thing that i would say about that though is like aren't the swords kind of made to not be broken by demons let i mean i know he was fighting a a, a moon 
one of the 12 moons, but like, I was just kind of thinking about them, like, he really broke the sword that easily? Like, I don't know if it's like wear and tear and stuff like that, but like, shouldn't the sword be a little bit stronger? I don't know, I mean, I, I don't think that like they make it like specifically for like one of the 12 moons, but I don't know, just, just a thought. Yo, she appears out of nowhere! Yeah, exactly, why did Shinobu actually, you know, volunteer to, uh, train and heal all of them? Okay, Shinobi, you're talking like you're gonna die soon. Please don't do that. Entrusting, you know, you're you're entrusting Tanjiro with your dream. Please do not talk like that. That that's red flag, death flag type of signs right there. You're always picking up an angry scent. So she has some sort of facade on her face. Like she's not always like calm, cool, and collected. Damn, in a constant state of anger. Okay, we get we gain character development. Damn. So like when she sees people dying by the demon she gets mad like she just doesn't show it and also it's because her sister died okay so i kind of understand why i guess she was kind of persistent on killing nezuko because even though tanjiro felt that pity and like that sympathy towards the demons her sister felt the same way and that kind of got her killed so i guess like she kind of has that like mindset to where like you can't really you know be sympathetic with these demons like they're just blood uh bloodthirsty monsters and stuff like that i'm really i'm actually really happy that they're focusing on shinobu right now because i was always curious about her character i mean she seems really like i said cal calm cool and collected but like she kind of has that like little dark edge to her like when she was talking about torturing that demon i was like okay you kind of scary but i like you i love that she's kind of just showing emotion though right now like it, it really develops her character a lot i love when characters just like kind of show their vulnerabilities and stuff like that but shinobu please do not talk like you're about to die rengoku is about to go find one of the 12 i think right now i don't need you dying and i don't need him dying please and she just teleports don't know how but she just does it damn dude shit that episode was i mean it was it was more so like a training montage type of like comedic but, like, towards the end, I, like, they always sprinkle that, like, development and, like, emotional feels type of, you know, like, drop in there. But, overall, that was a clean-ass episode. Like I said, I'm starting to grow more and more fond of Shinobu. I was scared of her at first, but after learning all that, I know that, you know, she she hides some sort of resentment and anger, actually. I, I thought it would be, like, sadness because of her eyes, but it's actually anger. Like, she's mad. So that's kind of interesting too. Uh, Canal, her, her, I forget what like the actual official name of like a trainee under a Hashira is called, but she's really interesting too because she, I don't think she said a single word yet. And she's, like I said, Tanjiro and Inosuke and Zenitsu, like they said, like we're no match for her in terms of training. Like there's no way we can match up to her right now. So Tanjiro is trying to learn to how to do the total concentration breathing throughout the whole entire day, like 24-7 all the time. And now I'm more interested to learn about Kanao. And I, obviously the other Hashiras as well, but you know, like, I, I assume they're going to get their own episodes. All I'm saying is, Shinobu, throwing out that red flag, Tanjiro, I need you to carry out my dream, please don't die. I, I, I can't, my heart, I don't think can take it. And also Rengoku's about to go fight at 12. Um... Hopefully he doesn't die. I, I don't know. I, I, I just get a bad feeling sometimes. I get a bad feeling just the way they talk. I always get bad feelings, man. Ever since JoJo, man, and like people just, ah, I don't want them to die. I don't want anybody to die. Oh, shit. But um, I'm really excited to see, like I said, um, I think the season should be ending soon. I think there's uh, 26 episodes, I believe, in the season. Hopefully the next season doesn't take too long to come out, guys. Um, I'm just excited to at least see the ending of the season with all of you. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, though. Um, and yes, uh, if you haven't already noticed, we do have like a new layout in terms of the reaction videos. Uh, uh, let me know how you like it, because I, like, like I said, I like this. Uh, I think it's way better than the green screen, at least. But uh, regardless, uh, like I said, hope you all did enjoy uh, today's video. But guys, take care of yourselves. Hope you all have a good one. And uh, yeah, later.